Oh, for the main cut here, I guess now I'm going to try to find the default tower. Whatever that is. If it looks like a giant fork, that would be helpful. Okay, so it turns out that actually we should be able to get more or less every weapon this time. This is probably it. Ah, yes, okay. At this strike point, I don't think it matters which of the three dozen weapons I get. I suppose you can get them now because uh, you've managed to get two of the tablets. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, I suppose you're replacing the original tablet with a new tablet. Uh, I'm not sure I can actually use a lot of these, and I don't see a particular reason to, to get a specific one. I already took the uh, three most helpful ones. No, yeah, why not? I'll just check, see if they can equip any of these. Nope. Oh well, if I should decide for some reason to uh, change uh, what... Uh, what class my, my characters are, what job they have, then uh, I will be able to use these. Uh, now we're going to Crescent Island. Can. Uh, I've also healed all of my characters, of course, and bought some more healing items. Ah, yeah, this looks like it. As the spells aren't taken from both cards at the same time, the cards explode, right? Guess we better split up then. Ah, that sounds like fun. Suggested in the strategy guide, I'm using my two uh, magic characters, uh, having them go left, and my two strong fighters going to the right. Obviously, most of my characters are magic characters. I don't think it matters that much. Okay, I've decided to move Thawis left as the uh, as the other strong magic character. Technically, I think Kryle's magic is stronger 
but since they're mostly magic characters anyway, I don't think it matters that much. As long as I have my very strong uh, fighter box on the right, then that should be okay. Okay, yeah, I guess. I'm sure I'll be finding evil at some point. Now, for example, I would be surprised if this worked, but I might as well try it. I wonder if they share the print. Since these seem to be at magic uh, creatures, it might be a good idea actually to reflect. This is going to use that block of magic. My hope, actually, is I can just do this and use Reflect, and that Reflect do most of the work. That is going to make things a lot easier. I mean, I might have to use these a little bit just because a lot of their attacks, uh, they seem immune to a lot of their own attacks. But something like Fandaigo could. They have some pretty powerful attacks, those things. may be a very, very long tower. Uh, I may have gone in the wrong entrance. On the other hand, rather awkwardly, some of those uh, those creatures in back can apparently KO you even when you are using flat. So that's irritating. It's also occurred to me that I have put my only two characters who know white magic in the same party. This might not have been a great idea. Don't know what this thing does. It, uh, it sounds nice, it sounds like something I can actually use. Ah, yeah. Possibly evil of them to use this, but in actuality, no. Okay. Um, yeah, why not? I mean, I'm hoping that they can't randomly uh, do healing, for example. Because healing would be a magic spell, wouldn't it? Ah! 
Okay, it can. At this point, I'm actually really regretting the fact that there are no uh, characters who know white magic on the, uh, the side, the, the other side. And because sometimes this heals enemies, I think I'm gonna switch back to the Magnus Forge. Ah! The top of the tower. Well, at least the tower isn't incredibly long. I'm probably going to eat those poorly chosen words. Never mind. Well, hopefully it's still possible to escape from this tower. So if I find that it's becoming almost impossible because of not having healing magic, uh, there are... I can teleport out of here. We start the entire thing, or I suppose just go down myself slowly, and as long as it hasn't decided to jerk, by preventing me from doing that, I should be able to split them up more evenly in terms of magic. Uh, I'm gonna have to hope this works very, very effectively. These are both symmetrical. I see as well that it's sort of leaning towards you having magic on one side and physical on the other. Looking at the items you get instead of ether, you get this. Uh, this thing that physically heals. Defender sounds nice. Ah, but neither of my characters can use it, so that's disappointing. Alright, simple enough if you don't mind using magic. Well, I sense a boss battle coming, and um, those towers were surprising easy. <laughs> it makes me a little nervous about the bosses that are coming up. Boss or bosses? Could be two of them. We have to take it at exactly the same time. Okay. I don't know how they would communicate with each other, and perhaps they're yelling from windows, I don't know, take it right when I do. Doesn't look like towers, windows, but got it. Ah, uh, yes, uh, I have no Alright, it looks like you can only attack this thing physically, from what I can tell. Yeah, you can't use 
anything except physical attacks. Uh, this is going to be hard. All right, well, I want to escape. I'm going to lose because this thing keeps on insisting I want to escape. Alright, since he's a better attacker than Cryo, I'm going to use Cryo to uh, heal and I suppose Phoenix down. Not sure what else I can do. Yeah, I have to hope this thing's pretty weak. I ran out of high potions. That's that. <laughs> oh, for heck's sake. I really am going to die because of this. Power of holy magic. I think it's time you tasted its might. Uh, oh, thank goodness. Well, it was, it was pretty pathetic, wasn't he? Okay, well... I suspect there's going to be a boss in the other tower. And that boss might be harder. But if that boss isn't harder, uh, then it's going to be relatively easy because I will have uh, lots of helpful um, white magic at my disposal. And if I manage to do that with basically one fighter and a bunch of high potions, with my fighter for no apparent reason trying to run away from battle, that's, uh, that's simple enough. That should be relatively easy. Alright, let's have a try. I'm gonna do this in accordance with uh, what the strategy guide suggests. In fact, it might be quite helpful. Now, the strategy guide suggests carbuncle. It's 
that lasted longer, but never mind. I suppose I'll know once they stopped uh, glowing like that. And apparently Silver does the most damage, so... as well, it just uses physical attacks. Uh, so I, I think it doesn't use physical attacks at all. So... Uh... I know quite sure what my point was by saying it doesn't use physical attacks, but uh, it doesn't. Oh yeah, I remember what I meant. Um, don't use golem. This is what this. Few ethers won't go mess here. mean to its own tax, apparently. I don't really have much styles to say, I might skip, uh, cut some of us boss out, I don't know. And there we go, now I reckon if we hadn't had Garbuncle, that attack would have destroyed us as well. Well... Those were two pretty easy bosses and two pretty easy um, towers. It sort of uh, makes up for the very long towers we've uh, had to go through recently. And I did it all in one episode, so that actually feels pretty good. The tower is disappearing. Thank goodness we have teleport, although admittedly half of them don't. Ah, alright, well they did manage to all make it out in time. Okay, well, that seems like a good place to end the episode. I am feeling good after that uh, battle. I will see you next time.